Welcome back to my channel guys. Hope everyone's having an amazing day. Shut the f up. Let's do some more work on the Brumby. We got back from Birdsville in one piece kind of. Pretty much every single knob fell off the heater controls. But let's go over what else is broken. Oh, I'm using my Bluetooth window wander. So let's go over what else is broken on this thing. The old strut is banana. As you can tell, that's about straight there. The battery clamp here tried to give Brum Jerry an ear piercing before breaking off completely. And now that is loose. And the thermo has also broken off all of its mounts and it started running on the belts and melting it. But it's broken off all the lift mounts, caused it to crack up here. Broken the lift mounts off too. What's going on here? Didn't you do this a week ago, mate? Grab it, please. This will be a challenge to get out because everything is bent. It's trying to pump this strut up through the top of the tower and it's touching the side pretty much down there. So this is going to be a challenge. Here we have our old strut out of the Brumby. This one I replaced just before we left. We ended up hitting a washout coming back from Birdsville. And as you can see, it has bent the strut quite significantly, right where it goes into the knuckle just there. Probably there's a better angle to see the bend. That's compared to a straight edge ruler. That's how much it's bent. That was why we had so much camber on the front of the Brumby. And that's it compared to a, the same strut, but new. I hope it's the same strut. So here we have my new spring compressor. Everyone made the comment about how dangerous I did it last time. Um, it scared the absolute shit out of me last time. And since the coil's in this spring now, I can't really get anything under it to compress it enough other than going under those two coils. So I bought the proper thing from first and strut so we can do it straight out of China. And hopefully it works better than the other one did. I'm a bit worried about the old build quality on this, but we'll see how it goes. Don't stay in front of it. What? It's not gonna work. Why? That's as low as it goes. <laughs> what do you mean that's as low as it goes? That's as low as the thing goes. It's running out of screw. Oh, we went out on a mission to grab some tools and some scrap steel so we can modify the spring compressor. We cut her on the bandsaw and then sharpen the tungsten on this grinder flapper disc, which is not recommended. Better put a massive chamfer on it and then stick it together with a big juicy weld, a bit of walk in the cup, and hopefully it doesn't kill us. One more. Oh. <laughs> Click. It's safer than the other fucking stupid thing. Fuck, yeah, that's like going to explode. Listen. It's wet. And yeah, it's leaking, I think. It's like, yeah, it has been, it's been leaking. So, you got free. So, here's that strut that we bent when we hit that washout. So, as you can see, that's where it slides into the knuckle. And what's happened is we've hit that washout. The coil spring and strut has compressed as much as it could and then it's kicked it sideways and that's what's caused that to bend. So here's our top hat. You can actually see where it bolts into the top of the tower and it's pushed it up through the center of that. You just do that. I think you should wait until you do the engine mount. Here's 
Here is the old engine mount out of our Bromby. This is the ream mount that goes on the gearbox. As you can see, there's heaps of cracks throughout it. It's pretty much just old, crusty, and it is very So our thermo was rubbing on the belt. Pretty much it broke off all of the mounts. This time, instead of running those stupid plastic things, I'm just gonna use, it's pretty much your cooling fins on the radiator. I'm just gonna grab this bolt and gently force it through. Love that. I'm gonna put some big washers on the other side of it, and that should stop it from falling out. We should have spun that around the other way. See how I got the water. Okay. So we just nip them up. You got to do them up to like 5,000 Newton meters. So that way it will compress the radiator in enough to stop it from falling off. Where is my mobile device bigger? Um, it's a torch. That, that one? Yeah, that's the one. Hey, stop looking. I found it. <laughs> <laughs> Second guess. Alright, so you have your cable tie, it's dead straight. It's really hard to get them to change direction, so if we put it in there, it will just go pretty much straight. So all I do is you get it and you put a massive kink in it. Like that. And then all you gotta do is just poke it through. If I can see the other fucking salt then. doesn't work anyway. So we'll put two kinks in it. So now we go like that. And see, it just pokes itself out the other ends. And then you grab that sword. And then we just cut the warren off. Like, an, like a mill from my face. It wasn't a cable tool. Ow.